In this video, we are going to talk about a strategy that can be applied as scalping on a high-valued PIP asset like gold. You can as well use it on silver or other metals. Stay back, relax, and learn. So the first thing that we are going to do is to have a small definition of what we are going to talk about on the charts. So we are simplifying how you are going to be scalping gold. And if you have been following this particular channel for a long time, you would have seen some of the concepts being applied on other strategies. So we need to be very particular so that we get proper entry points. Trading as a wall will require something which very, very much particular with what he or she is doing for you to make profit. So knowing the following sequence will simplify the whole concept of spotting these reversals, which are actually taken as in and out very fast. That is the definition or the simplest definition of scalping. So it's only four steps to find an entry. You need four steps to get a point of market entry and we call it crossover, bounce, bounce and pattern. Right? By crossover bounce, bounce, and pattern, we are referring to exponential moving averages or EMAs in short applied to close. If you follow us, you know that we have an array of EMAs we use. So for this concept, we need 13 EMA, 50 EMA, actually, and the TDI in some cases. But in most cases, we won't need the TDI. These are applied as follows. Before we define this pattern, please hit the subscribe button and check the notification bell icon so that you won't miss any of our videos as we upload. We also have a free signals telegram channel where we share a free signal each and every week. The link is right in the description box below. So what we mean by um, uh, what we have been talking about is a cycle of this manner, which is viewed on the M15 time frame. We are saying the first cycle, the first impulse, sorry, should have a 1350 EMA crossover, right? Like what has been illustrated. Second, we should see a bounce of the market on the 50 EMA, another bounce of the market on the 50 EMA. These bounces should be two for us to reach the last impulse. So on the last impulse, we are not interested in seeing an M or a W depending on market context but we are interested in seeing the last impulse being almost equal to the first impulse. So you may actually try to measure the number of pips that are available in the first impulse and anticipate to have the same number of pips on the last impulse for you to get an entry. After getting an entry at this point, we are actually anticipating to have a flow to the 200 EMA and get out. So that basically should take us an hour or two hours depending on the market flow. But in some cases, it will be very fast, like 45, 30 to 45 minutes and you're out. So let's now go over the charts to see how all is done in real markets. So this is gold against USD and we are going to do what we have been talking about in the slides. The first thing is actually to get a crossover of the 50 18 EMA. In this case, we had this as our first crossover. After that crossover, we had the first touch of the 50 EMA or the first bounce of the 50 EMA. In this case, my 50 EMA is the one in blue and my 200 EMA is the one in white. First touch of the 50 EMA, then second touch of the 50 EMA occurred at this point. Whenever we see the second touch, we anticipate to have a flow that is equivalent to the first flow. Our first flow started at this point to there. Therefore, the last flow must be almost equivalent to the first flow. So for, the, for us to get an entry point, entry trigger is a candlestick reversal pattern of any sort. In this case, whilst we were on our last flow, we had this engulfing pattern that gave us an entry trigger. As soon as we see the confirmation candlestick closing, that is where we make our entry and our exit 
is always the 200 EMA, which is in white at this point. That was the first trade example. After that, we can see the market giving us a crossover again, which is this one. After that crossover, we had the first floor. After that first floor, we had first touch of the 50 or first bounce of the 50. Then we had the second floor. The second bounce of the 50 was issued at this point and as i have said earlier we need to have the last impulse as equal to the first one this was the first impulse and it should be equal to the last one or almost equal it, it might not be exactly uh tick for tick but it should be at, at, at most uh, looking like the same then at this point we can see there was a railroad track that was issued can see it was two equal candlesticks that were issued and we were going to scalp right away to to the 200 ema then from there we wait for another entry pattern we've said we need crossover bounce bounce and then entry in this case we did not have any of that uh, 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 of those parameters from there we had a crossover at this point another bounce then the second bounce from the last bounce we were actually expecting to see the floor being equal to the first one right the floor being equal to the first one the first one started at this point and ended at this point so that is the same floor that we were anticipating in this case we had this point which was actually some sort of a railroad track if we look very closely there was a railroad track at this point and we could make our entry and close at the 200 EMA, our scalp trade. Then going forth, we can see crossover again, touch, touch, and then entry point and then closure of the trade at the 200 EMA. So basically that is how you scalp gold and uh, it's actually one of those strategies that is stress-free and is objective in nature on that note we come to the end of our video thank you for watching like and subscribe and see you on the next one